If you clicked on this video, I already know two things about you. One, you wanna start a YouTube channel. And two, you've probably already told yourself every excuse in the book as to why you can't do it. I'm not an expert in anything. I don't have the right camera gear. I don't have the time to make videos. My life's not interesting enough to share on the internet. My friends and family are totally gonna judge me if I do it. Do any of those sound familiar? Look, I'm not judging because these are all things that I've said to myself from time to time over the years. And honestly, when I first started making YouTube videos, I didn't tell anybody in my life about it because I was just so embarrassed to admit that I had this dream, that I wanted to make videos for the internet. Becoming a YouTube creator and sharing your life and your thoughts online is really, really vulnerable. So it makes sense if you're feeling a little bit hesitant or scared about it. But it is my personal goal and mission to ensure that by the end of this video, you will be feeling excited and confident about publishing your first YouTube video. So let's get into it. This is how to get over your fear and finally start that YouTube channel you've been dreaming of. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Thinkific. More on them later. All right, the biggest hurdle that most beginner YouTubers face is imposter syndrome and self-doubt. Two sides of the same coin. Okay, so you know how some people will compliment another person's outfit by saying something like, oh my gosh, I love that plaid jacket and feather boa look, but I could never pull it off. Whenever I hear that sort of sentiment from my friends or people that I know, I'm like, no, but you could pull it off. Pulling off an outfit is all about confidence and feeling like you should be wearing it. Well, the same is true about starting a YouTube channel. Even if you feel like you would love to be a YouTuber but could never pull it off, you can, trust me. When you feel excited and good about creating and publishing videos, the people who are watching are going to feel that vibe and not only connect with you, but also look up to you. It's so important when you're getting started on this journey and you're feeling like you don't have anything to share, you're not an expert in anything, why would anybody wanna watch me, my life is boring, I'm not cool enough. When all of those thoughts start spiraling, you need to remind yourself that you do have something worth sharing. There are people out there that are further behind on their journey, that haven't learned the same things that you've already learned, or who might feel inspired by different pieces of your life. So there is an audience out there for you. You just need to be confident enough to put yourself out there and start to attract them. When you push yourself past your comfort zone and fully embrace becoming a content creator, you open yourself up to so many new amazing opportunities, including new ways for you to provide value to your ideal audience and new ways for you to earn revenue. So as a growing creator, I'm really excited to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Thinkific. Thinkific is a course and community building platform that allows you to serve your audience with your valuable knowledge. With their user-friendly platform, you can build out video courses, you can build out paid community spaces and membership programs. And these are game changers when it comes to developing a consistent source of revenue as an online content creator. Now I'm super excited because I've partnered with Thinkific to give you all exclusive early access to their Black Friday deal. Y'all, Thinkific does not often offer discounts, so this is a big deal. If you sign up using the link in my description, you're gonna get early bird access to Thinkific's Black Friday deal, which is going to include exclusive discounts and access to free trainings about how to build out your first video course, how to grow an engaged community, and so much more. So make sure that you do not miss out on this special opportunity to try out Thinkific for yourself and develop new ways for you to connect with your audience and earn revenue as a creator. I'm gonna leave my link in the description, so make sure you go check that out after the video. And once again, thanks so much to Thinkific for sponsoring this video. When I think about all of the clients and friends and people in general that I have talked to over the years, who want to start a YouTube channel but are feeling kind of scared about it, I feel like there is one core fear that really gets to the heart of it all. And that is the fear of failing publicly. Here's the thing about starting a YouTube channel that makes it very different from any other hobby or passion project that you might be looking to pursue. It is, by definition, very public. If you're starting to learn guitar, for example, nobody is saying that you need to perform for an audience after only a couple days of practicing. Or if you start learning a new language, no one is telling you that you have to give a speech to a crowd of native speakers after only one day. 
But with YouTube, your first video is gonna be pretty public. Now, I'll be honest, the chances of your very first YouTube video getting more than like a couple of dozen views are pretty slim. And I don't say that to discourage you, but rather to kind of put the pressure off a little bit and know that the very first video you post is probably not gonna go viral and you're not gonna embarrass yourself in front of millions. Maybe just like a few people will see it. So it's not necessarily quite as public as it feels at first, but certainly it has the potential to become very public in the future. I mean, that's the goal, right? Building an audience. And so I think it's the possibility of how public your first few videos are is what really intimidates people. I'll speak for myself here, but let me know in the comments if you can relate to this. I always liked the idea of being a YouTuber. I dreamed of being a big YouTuber who like made a living making videos and I didn't mind other people, you know, knowing I was a YouTuber on one condition, that I was a successful YouTuber. If I was gonna go around telling people that I made YouTube videos, then I wanted to feel like if they went and looked me up on the YouTube app, then they would find a channel with lots of subscribers and videos with lots of views, so then I could feel confident about telling other people that that's what I was doing. What I was really worried about was being seen as a wannabe YouTuber, and honestly, I kinda still struggle with those feelings sometimes, and I know that might seem kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. It kind of goes to show that it really is all about the mindset and that having certain numbers is not just gonna automatically make you confident. But anyway, the point is, no matter how you define success or what kind of numbers you would feel confident having other people see on your channel, we're all gonna spend a substantial amount of time in the phase leading up to that, working towards having a thousand or 10,000 or whatever it is, subscribers so that we can feel confident telling other people that we're a YouTuber. And look, I think with anything in life, it can feel a little bit embarrassing to admit that you're working on something new. It's very vulnerable to say, hey, I wanna become this. I'm not there yet, I'm still working towards it, but it's something that I wanna do, whether that's learning an instrument, a new language, or becoming a YouTuber. But here's the thing, there's no shortcut or way that you can kind of skip the line to success so that you can jump over that embarrassing period of admitting that you wanna be good at something, but you're not quite there yet. The only way to push through that phase is to change your mindset and decide to feel confident in that growth phase. When I did this, I was able to fully embrace my journey towards being a creator, and it also opened me up to way more support in my real life as well. I used to not wanna tell anybody about my YouTube channel, but once I finally started feeling brave and admitting, you know, I'm working towards this, but it's not quite there yet, my friends were really, really supportive of it, and that kinda gave me the energy and encouragement that I needed to keep moving forward with it. So here's what you need to do. You need to learn to be confident being kind of bad at something, and that's okay. I honestly think it's really, really admirable to be able to admit to other people, hey, I'm not really good at this yet, but I'm working on it. A lot of people don't have the confidence to do that, and by becoming a YouTuber and talking about it publicly and working towards it in this really authentic way, like you are embracing this level of confidence that a lot of other people will never have. But here's the thing about all of these mindset shifts that you're making. You need to have some accountability to yourself. And you might need to give yourself a little bit of tough love and just assign a deadline to get started. There's so many nerves and so much buildup around this thing that you've been dreaming of doing, but you've been kind of putting it off because you're worried about it. So the only way to really push through and start doing this is set yourself a deadline and just rip the Band-Aid off. I promise you that once you post that first video and then you post that second video, it's just gonna keep getting easier every time you publish and you'll feel more and more confident all the time. But the only way to get to that level of confidence is to just get started. When it comes to gaining confidence, other than just you know soul searching and finding it within yourself, there are really two practical ways that you can build up confidence around a new skill like being a YouTuber, and that is practice for one, and that comes from just giving yourself a deadline and just getting started and working at it week after week and you will build up that confidence over time. And the second way is just faking it until you make it. Just deciding that you are gonna be confident that you are a badass, awesome YouTuber and try to embrace that until you really start feeling it. So if you are ready to get started on your YouTube journey, and let me just say this, if you have been looking for a sign telling you that it is time to start, my friend, this is your sign, go and pick up your phone, pick up your camera and 
film that first YouTube video right after watching this, because trust me, it is so worth it to embrace this dream that you have and pursue it and the best time to start was, you know, five years ago, but the second best time to start is today. If you want some more resources or encouragement or support along this journey as a YouTuber, then you can check out my channel. I've got all kinds of videos on YouTube strategy and tutorials. You might want to check out this one next. Make sure that you sign up for Thinkific's Black Friday deal at the link in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.